Well, that was a crazy wedding. I'm gonna go change into my PJs now. All right, time to sleep. Ew, what do you think you're doing? Get out of here. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm going to sleep. No, get off the bed. Sleep on the floor. Why? We're married now, so of course I can sleep on the bed with you. Uh, no you're not. Listen, I never wanted to marry you either. My brilliant dad thought this up. So, if you want to sleep on the floor, then be my guest. But I am sleeping on this warm and comfy bed. Good night. Fine then, I will, you despicable man. Ugh. I guess I'm sleeping here tonight. I can't believe he's making me sleep on the floor. I mean, who does that? Who lets a girl sleep on the floor? I just can't believe he would do something like that. The nerve of him. Why do I have to deal with someone like him? Why am I even married to this guy? Why couldn't I make my own decisions? Why couldn't I have my own life like everybody else? I miss my old life. I miss my mom and dad. I miss my friends. This is just not fair. That tune she was humming sounded so sad. Maybe I should start being nicer to Angie. I mean, she did have to go away from her family and friends. She's here in a different place, married to somebody she doesn't even know. I mean, I do feel bad for her. I'll try to be nicer to her and not be so aggressive. Seeing Angie in that wedding dress, that just made me feel really bad. I mean, I don't want to complicate things for Angie, but at the same time, I don't want her to get married to the demon, especially since she doesn't have any choice about it. I think she should choose who she wants to marry. I'm sure our people will understand. I mean, it's her life. We're ruining her life for our own sake, for our own happiness. That's just not right. What the heck is wrong with you yelling so early in the morning? N no reason. Do you always do this? Every morning? N no, I just saw a bug on the floor. Better get the maids to clean up this place. It looks pretty clean to me, but okay, if you say so. Oh my gosh, why did I wake up in the bed? I must have been sleepwalking and ended up there. Ugh, I must be careful not to do that again. I married a very weird girl. Oh my gosh, it's snowing. Everything is ice. It's so beautiful. I love Christmas time. It's the best. Yeah, our family is very festive. My mother loves to decorate the castle during the holidays. She goes crazy. Well, it's really beautiful. When he's talking normal like this, he doesn't seem so bad. Demona, is that you? Oh, hey, Dante. It's so good to see you. What brings you to the castle? I asked permission to stay at the castle and your dad said yes. So I'll be living here too from now on. Um, what? Hi, and you must be Angie. It's so nice meeting you. I hope we can be friends. It's nice meeting you too. Yes, definitely. Uh, was I just imagining things? I must have been too tired and saw it wrong, but it looked like she was grinning so evilly towards me. Well, I gotta go. Mwah. Bye! Oh my gosh, did she just kiss his cheek? Are they like that? That's so weird. Um, before you get any weird ideas, people from her country kiss people on the cheeks. It's normal. That's just a little greeting. You don't have to be jealous or anything. I'm not jealous. What are you talking about? Oh, so that's how it is. Oh, hey, Gabriel. Good morning. Hey, Angie, how are you today? I'm good, how about you? Oh gosh, I'm turning red now that Gabriel's here. 
let go of my hand. No. You must be Dante. Nice meeting you, finally. The pleasure is all mine. <laughs> huh? What's going on between these two? Well, we'd love to stay and talk, but we have to go see you. Hey, wait! Ugh! What was that all about? Oh, I just had to show him his place and show him what's rightfully mine. What is he talking about? Hey, so I thought about it and I decided I want to break them up. What's your plan? Hmm, <laughs> oh really? <gasps> Did I imagine that girl Demona looking at me like that? I don't know, but I don't want to think badly of her. Even though she was being weird and kissing him and all that. Wait, am I being jealous right now? No, I'm not jealous. Of course not. And besides, I do still love Gabriel. You know, that's just where my heart is. So of course I wouldn't be jealous. And besides, I don't like the demon prince like that. I mean, he has become a little bit nicer to me, so I do think he's kind of cute, but... Oh no, what am I thinking? No, of course not. No, I can't think like that. No, he's just not for me. I said I would be nicer to her, but I still was a bit aggressive towards her. Why did I have to do that? Also, why did I hold her hand like that in front of Gabriel? I wasn't jealous or anything. I just didn't want him to be so close to her. She's my wife, so of course I would think that way. I won't let him have her, she's mine. But I'm not in love with her or anything, I just don't want people to touch what's mine. Oh, Angie, no matter what it takes, I will get you out of this situation. Believe it. I won't let that demon boy hurt you in any way. I will not let him have you. I will find a way. Trust me. Believe in me. It'll all be over soon. And we can go back to how things were. And maybe confess my love to you. Angie, I will make you pay for taking everything from me. Your parents killed my brother, and now you're trying to take Dante from me? No. You just won't stop until you take everything from me, won't you? I won't let you have it. I won't let you have the one last thing that's important to me. No, not Dante. He's my last hope for a happy life. 